next I feed five dogs a raw ketogenic diet so I'm getting their bowls ready while they're out and they will be very excited to be having breakfast shortly. This is what their patties look like. They're raw. Um, I just defrost them a little bit because they were kind of frozen. And then I also put coconut oil in there as well for the three large dogs. The two little dogs don't tolerate coconut oil very well, so they don't get coconut oil. Um, but the big guys do. They get about a tablespoon each. <laughs> It was like pulling teeth to get them to eat because both of the little ones are really finicky about their food. But not this stuff. In fact, I have to watch them because Karma will finish hers really fast and then try to head over to Charles. This is the food that I use. I actually keep it in the garage. I'm out here in the garage um, in the freezer and it's raw frozen keto patties from visionary pet foods and i am not gonna lie you guys this stuff is not cheap it is quite expensive um but if you are interested in feeding your dogs a raw ketogenic diet you could also calculate their macros and i will um link the website down below as well that you can do that and you can make their own food and it's considerably cheaper if you make it yourself and then you can buy the ground beef at Costco, which is a lot more cost effective. But in the essence of time, I do get the visionary pet foods. Um, I, I literally get like four bags of this stuff a week and it is like $30 a bag. So yeah, kind of expensive, but I have five dogs. So wouldn't be quite as expensive if you only had one or two dogs. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a website that you can also use to figure out what their macros are and um, do a more cost-effective raw ketogenic diet for your dogs because you can um, easily get like bulk ground beef and prepare it for yourself if you prepare it you know yourself if you have the time I've done that before many times as well and um, I will link all of the different um, supplements that you need to add to the food that you prepare at home um, there's certain minerals and things that you need to make sure that they are getting. Okay, you guys, so here is the website that you can go to in order to calculate your dog's macros. It's really self-explanatory. It really just kind of walks you through the entire thing. I will link it down below in the description box so you can test it out for yourself. Um, but this is what I used in order to calculate all of my dog's macros depending on their situation and again it is very self-explanatory you just go through it step by step there's an option if you wanted to buy the ketogenic dog food it'll tell you how much they need to eat of it or you can like i said do the grocery route and get it like at costco for much much cheaper i have done the costco route and it's very cost effective it's just a little more time consuming so Lately, I have just been ordering the Visionary Pet Food, but this calculator is very helpful. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is the macros that they give you, you know, it's an estimate. Just like with human macro calculators, you'll need to kind of determine how your dog is doing on those particular macros and adjust, adjust the food up or down, depending on whether you want them to lose weight or maintain, etc. So I had to do that with my dogs. Um, took me a while to kind of get them to the exact macros they needed to be for maintenance, which they are all in maintenance mode now. So this is the calculator. Go ahead and give it a try. Again, feel free to email me if you have any questions. Happy to help you out or answer any questions about my own experience here. So I realize that food is actually pretty expensive um, for most. Um, but I do wanna let you know the impact it's had on my dog since I switched them. I actually have five dogs, as I've stated, uh, an 11 year old pit bull that was um, having a lot of issues with his hips and a skin condition. Switching him to the raw ketogenic completely cured that. He's 11 years old and he looks younger and better than ever. 
Um, my French Bulldog was like 10 pounds overweight on the kibble. He was probably weighing like 40 pounds. Here's a picture of him before. I'm not sure if it really captures the difference, but um, before and after, he's now 30 pounds. So he lost 10 pounds over the course of about nine to 10 months. It was a slow, steady, safe weight loss for him, but now he's in maintenance mode um, and doing great. He also used to regurgitate every time after he ate and just overall didn't sound like he was breathing very well. Totally fine now. My Yorkie was used to limp. She almost actually was even scheduled for a surgery um, because she had what's called patella and the vet said she needed to have it surgically repaired. Um, in order for her to walk, she literally walked only on three legs and was somewhat lame most of the time. And within about a few months, she stopped limping and now she jumps and she's excited to eat. As you saw earlier, she used to always be really finicky about eating and um, didn't need surgery. Charles, which is my Morky, he never, he always had the raw diet because I started it right when I got him. At first he was on a puppy kibble and I literally could not get him to eat. And now, as you can see on the um, keto diet, he absolutely loves it, but he didn't have any health conditions. So nothing to really report there. Um, and then my boxer, um, literally we went through about seven or eight different kibbles when we first got him. Every single one of them gave him diarrhea or some sort of pancreatitis or something no issues at all with the raw ketogenic diet. So even though it's very expensive, it's amazing the amount of um, just the benefits that it has provided to all of my dogs. And um, in terms of savings on vet visits, we haven't been to the vet. We literally were going to the vet for one reason or another so many times before switching them that I think it really like has evened out. And in terms of transition, for transitioning them from kibble to raw, it's a cold turkey transition. That's actually what works best. And you can't really go back and forth. So keep in mind that you don't want to switch from kibble to raw and raw to kibble. That in and of itself can cause like a pancreatitis or an irritation. So um, I was advised to just do a cold turkey switch and all five dogs tolerated that very well. No issues at all with just switching them all at one time. So um, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it'll help your fur babies out there. I know that a ketogenic diet for dogs is excellent in the treatment of dog cancer and starving a cancer. So if your dog currently does have cancer, um, it is something that's very therapeutic and can help prolong their life. Now, I don't know, that's what I've read. I don't know that, don't take that verbatim. I'm not a vet. Um, I'm just saying the things that I have read and I truly, truly believe that feeding my dogs this type of diet is going to prolong their life. I feel that the reason why dogs are getting cancer at an alarming rate is um, issues with their food and the junk that's in their food. It's not regulated. And I think that a lot of the diseases that dogs die from are metabolic diseases. And I had two boxer dogs that died at the age of 10 years old um, a couple of years ago, four months apart from each other. It was devastating for me. They both died from cancer and um, it just boggled my mind and it really got me into researching dog food. And um, that's when I stumbled upon Keto Pet Sanctuary, which is um, at the same time when I was kind of transitioning my diet to um, strict keto and it just all made sense. So happy I did that on never looking back and hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. I also wrote a blog on this with maybe some more details in that blog and the links are there as well. So I will link this blog in the description box. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and make sure um, you hit that bell to be notified when I have new videos and thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next time. I can't wait to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Oh, oh, oh.